Now we already know that we can do intensity key changes uh, quantization right here within sample tank three. But if you prefer to work in Pro Tools, you can do that stuff in Pro Tools as well. I can simply say select this clip right here. I'll right click it and open my MIDI real time properties. Then I can choose to quantize it however I want. I can transpose it if I want and then simply write that to the track. Real easy to do. As you can see, that's changing as I move this around. All right, pretty cool. And there are also, of course, other ways we could do that. Say I could show my real-time properties window right here. I could do that right from this little area instead of right-clicking. It's just really up to you about, uh, you know, what you'd like to do and how you like to work. Now, the great thing about dragging patterns in, okay, to your DAW, let's just uh, preview some of these. I hit play. I'll just click on other ones as we're going here. Uh... So say we like this pattern, but there's a little bit off, a little bit that we like to change. I'll simply drag it in to my doll, which again, I'm using Pro Tools. And then we can come here to this little drop down that says clips and we can choose notes, or we can just simply grab the pencil and click and that will automatically drop us into the notes view. And then we can edit this pattern. Say we like most of it, but maybe we don't like, you know, all of it. Let me just, just select these notes and maybe I don't want these notes on top. So I just selected just that note. I'll delete all those. Now I can hit play. Awesome. So I've quickly edited a pattern that I simply dragged in from Sample Tank 3, edited that right in Pro Tools right here on my instrument track or MIDI track right in the piano roll. Obviously, you could also use the MIDI editor if you prefer to use that. I do a lot of stuff in the uh, piano roll, but of course, you could use the MIDI editor here as well, which is always a great option right here in Pro Tools. Obviously, I could add more notes. Maybe I want notes here. Note here, note there. We have all kind of different ways to add notes, different kinds of notes. So there's a long note. Let me go to line here. Now I have a sequence of notes. All right, so that doesn't sound good, obviously, but I'm just showing you ways we can edit pre-programmed patterns from Sample Tank right within your DAW. We can do that over and over, just find something that sort of sounds good. Let's change the tempo. Let's make it 60. And now we'll preview here. All right. I like that one. Let me uh, pull that in. And I can go right about, pop in here, get rid of that note. Awesome. And that's how you would edit your MIDI patterns that you simply drag in from Sample Tank right into Pro Tools. Now, one more thing I'll mention here. Let me change this back to Clips here and I'll get rid of that. Let me load this up into Sample Tank 3, and we can see it's on the key of E. And let me drag this in from this area after we have loaded it. All right, so there it is. We can see it's two bars. All right, if I drag it in from here, see if we also get two bars. Ah, oh, you see we get three bars because there's dead space there. So I'll get rid of that one. So we'll, we'll just work with this one here. So two bars, and it's in the key of E. Now let me change this key up to say G and then I'll drag it in again, and then I'll hit play. All right, so that's definitely different behavior. All right, so that's something you'll also have to just keep in mind when you're dragging in your MIDI patterns. Let me uh, load up a different pattern. Now this is in the key of C, I'll drag it in from here, and it's one, three, eight, oh, eight. If we drag it in from the patterns area, we can see that it's two full bars. Okay, and then if I were to change the key over here and then drag it in from over here, all right, we can see it did transpose it, but it also doubled up some notes. So if I play this, and then play this, and then play this. All right, so you see the difference in from where we drag it in and what happens to the key if we change the key and then drag it in. So there are some differences that you need to look out for. My suggestion would be to drag in your MIDI patterns from the MIDI pattern page, from the pattern page, and not for after you have, say, loaded it up into a pattern and edited it. You should probably, again, this is just what I do. I drag them in from the MIDI pattern page, all right? And then I do my editing here in Pro Tools with my real-time properties, or simply edit the clip to fit, you know, the song better, fit whatever you're trying to accomplish. So there you go. That is how you can easily drag in your MIDI patterns from Sample Tank 3 right into your DAW. Real easy. 
real simple and sample tank 3 is an absolute great instrument i definitely suggest you check it out ikmultimedia.com <laughs>